in the German, it was by Goethe Faust. Faust makes a deal with the devil. Yes. Because he's a guy who's ne never satisfied. And he said, you can give, give me what you want, but what can you put devil give me? And say, if I once say to the moment, stay, you are beautiful, then you can catch me. I am not exactly a false type to be uh, never satisfied. On the contrary, I try to enjoy every single moment. If there is something disagreeable, I just try to disregard it and think of something else pleasant. It works. It works? It works. I always educated myself never to be bored. I think I rest here a little. Two years in a row I was senior male athlete of the year. To see, and it was pointed out in an article, when I ran the, the 100 meter in 24 seconds, I beat a world record holder who had run 38. I mean, I reduced it by 12 seconds. Can you imagine that? <laughs> and for the 200 and the 400, there is no world record. It, there was not. Now I have it. It was easy because to, to, to beat 38 seconds. But now, as I said in the hesitant tape, now I have a tough competitor. That's myself. <laughs> and usually one characteristic of old people is that everything they do is slow. And here to be called a speed demon <laughs> a demon. <laughs> and it is quite fast. I mean, I always have had so many interests, so many interests in reading, looking at pictures, doing all those dozen sports, etc. And music alone, which is, as you know, my, my main pleasure. I have so much music which will last me for a hundred years. If I didn't have the talent for organization, I would be completely lost. <laughs> but basically this, first tenet, the only purpose of living is to enjoy yourself. The people say, no, you have to live for others. I never said it. Enjoy yourself. You have to have a, like a, like a, uh, like a horseman, you have to keep your, your, all your, your drives in check. And sometimes you even have to try to do disagreeable things in order to get the agreeable result. This is, this is the basic, the, the tenet and uh, never regret anything. Erwin says that the reason he won the uh, 95 to 99 competition is that, one, most other people have neglected to reach that fine age. Second of all, those who have reached that age have not kept up with their fitness program. So, those are the two main reasons he thinks he's winning. You know, I do it every day, I have a a, a 20 pound barbell which I lift up and, and do it 20 times this and then I do my, my chin ups but still in the morning before breakfast as I said I just do four four or five chin ups and then I run 200 meters they always asked me you know the first time when I came it was into the paper I said how does he do it well I told him that's it never stop exercise mm. so it's just good i still can concentrate and now i've made the last of the of the chin-ups when i say i can't do it i say yeah i do it the whole exercise thing going on here like the uh, the, the what, do you, what do they advertise on tv the gym Why spend money on <laughs> Okay, don't photograph that. <laughs> Any good housewife would, would get gray hairs looking at it. <laughs> Hello. 
Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. This is the peach? Mm, I hope. <laughs> Slowly, like wine tasting. Mm, fantastic. Mm. It's very good. Fantastic. Mm. On your mark. Okay, let's share them on the way. <laughs> One minute, twelve seconds, point three. Was it seventy two? Yeah, seven yeah. Seventy-two yeah. seconds. What? Seventy-two seconds. Yes. Good going. Good. Very good. Considering. Yeah. How you doing everybody? The 2002 Aloha State Games are coming to a close. This morning at Kaiser High School, the track and field events took place all day long, and you are about to witness an amazing feat. Erwin Josluski might look like your average senior citizen, but then again, most 99-year-olds don't have the same get up and go. Yes, exactly five years ago at the Aloha game, Gil, my friend Gil, uh, why don't you compete? You have no competition. I got interested in the following years, I competed. The Austrian native already holds two world records in the 200 and 400 meter dash for his age group. So today's 100 meter run should be a piece of cake. I'm rather sensitive to uh, get overexerting it. I, think, I don't think I will be anything to rant home about. Erwin needs just 32 seconds to complete the race. And even though he doesn't place first, he gets a round of applause from the crowd. Uh, well, I met Irvin in 1983. Uh, I told my girlfriend, go ask this gentleman how old he is, because I thought he was in his 60s and really in good shape. And she goes, she comes back, she says, he's 83 years old. And I said, holy smoke. Uh, he, he is an inspiration. He really is. He's, uh, he's amazing. Let's go home. It's, no. This will be the last of my, my competitions. Oh. We are having chocolate cake for my 51st birthday. <laughs> yes? Yes. And here's Mr. Irwin. This is his second helping. Good. After a good meal, we have to exercise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Boxing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here he comes. Going backwards. Not everybody can do it. Huh? Not everybody can do it. No. Not at 103 years old. He finished the hike down the stairs, now he's running. Asparagus. That is good. I can't hear you. <laughs> it is good. C'est bon. C'est what? C'est bon? C'est bon. You can close your biography. <laughs> I'm ready to close my biography, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Could so, have been better. Well, that's okay. I'll call you later. Thank you.
Okay, you did good. The winner is Erwin Jaskulski, and the people all jumped up and screamed. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>